What are you guys doing up there? Kissing. Turn it down so you can see, honey. Can you see oh, thank you. Oh, you're a big help. Thank yeah. you. Oh, I can't see. Still can't see. Yoo hoo. Oh. Let me get you some gloves or something. No. We were leaving for church yesterday and heard a spraying sound and it was the old water softener that we didn't realize was still connected and it was just <sighs> spraying water out so this became a high priority and jared's got to fix this pipe hi daddy hi toby hi daddy yikes man <laughs> Fix it already? Mm -hmm. Wow. Quick. Alright. Alright. Alright, you got it. Well, this is this is what I was telling you about last time. Um, under the house how the pipe wasn't even connected. You see that gap? Right here. Look at that. Not even connected. So, I need this for when I go into the house, and I bought Harbor Freight uh, impact attachments for sockets. Don't ever do that, because they get stuck in here, and you can't hardly get them out. So we were looking it up on YouTube, how to get them out. So what was happening was this was just stuck in there, it would not come out, and I tried, you know, tapping on it screwing something so it didn't pack but what happens is it gets twisted in here and it gets stuck so don't buy the harbor freight ones they're junk and they make you mad so anyway, how many setbacks has that been just since you've been home from work <laughs> oh i don't know i lost count so anyway uh back in business got a milwaukee one on here it's not gonna twist on me babe so are I'm you ready to crawl back under the house so, so how is your mind doing? Are you stressed or overwhelmed or discouraged? I'm ready to get this up in place. So we're gonna put some strapping under it so it, it won't fall and it has the nice gentle uh, slope that it needs. What about the tub? Yeah, how the drain broke off in it. Oh, uh, I was trying to get the whatever. I don't even know. Watch the video. <laughs> he was trying to get the broken drain off so that he could put a new drain on so that it didn't cause further water damage. And in the process, the pipe got pushed down under the house. And then he... Uh... So we can either just buy a new one of these or I'm going to try to get... If I can get this unscrewed. Yeah. But I don't know if it's going to happen. But you know how cool it is that that's what it is? Because I thought for sure you'd have to like replace this 8 foot long pipe and stuff. Hey, but, hey, hey! But it's just after hey. 10 and he is still... Yeah. Oh, they quit. <laughs> and Toby's still happy. So thanks Tobes for being a good kid. And now that setbacks are unset, hopefully we can... Ah! Get a couple things done so Jared feels like he made some good progress today. Thanks for all you do, babe. You're welcome. I don't know how you keep your head on straight. Me neither. Hi, Daddy! Hi, Daddy! Hi, Daddy! Hi, Daddy! Hi, Daddy.
week in the quad to go check the mail is so not necessary, but it's really fun, and this kid loves riding it, so any excuse we got. You like the quad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. All right. Let's turn it on. Ready? Let's go check the mail. All right, you want to check the mail? What's in there? Can you get it out? Grab it. Grab it tight. You got it? Toys. I don't know. What is this? For Toby Hess. It's a present for you. You want to open it? Uh-huh. Okay. Open it up. Oh, careful. What is it? Loose. Pick it up. Let me see. Pick and loose. loose. What is that? Open. Do you love him? Give it, oh, that's so nice. Do you know who gave that to you? Mm -hmm. Who gave it to you? Auntie yeah. Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Look at here. Say thank you, Auntie Colleen. Thank you, Aunt Colleen. I love it. I love it. Oh, I think you do love it, don't you? He's so soft. Thanks. Oh, say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Blow a kiss. <laughs> the boys heard daddy pull up. <gasps> They're excited to see him. They went nuts as soon as they heard the car. Toby! Hey. You know who gets first kiss? Who? Not you, Mama does. Oh, Mama does. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Bandit, get down. Mwah. Okay, hi, Bandit. I got you a prize. What is it? Donut. Donut. Do you love them? Mm -hmm. Do you want it? Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss and say thank you, Daddy. <laughs> You're welcome. Go ahead. Oh. I love you, sweet mama. Hello, sweet feet, mama. Hello, Bobby. Say have a good day, Poppy. Good day, Poppy. Hey, Tobes. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Love you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and he's down. <laughs> well, let's see if we uh, wired her up correctly. Light switch. Bing, bing, bing. Top lights look. I can see everything. Wow. Okay, get down, Toby. Get down. I got to move this and do one Toby, more light. Toby, didn't you read the sticker? You're not supposed to climb on that side. Bandit was needing some snuggles, so he just hopped up here. He thinks he's a lap dog sometimes. You lap dog? You're a dirty dog. We have to clean up all the trash first and then we can ride the quad. Okay? Today, me and Toby are just gonna go around and clean up a little bit. There's some trash laying around and I had made some junk piles um, from cleaning up other parts of the yard. So we're gonna do that and clean up the shingle mess that we've got going on um, from this past weekend. And then, you good? You got it? And then little Toby here is yet again going with Grammy and Papa tonight. We'll spend the night and then we'll come back on Saturday around one because Jared's dad is gonna stay here on Friday night and help us Friday night until Saturday around one um, when Mama Hess comes and gets him and drops Toby off. Um, but I know I'm tired of seeing this little guy go because I love him, but the quicker we get things done, the quicker we can get in the house and the less I have to see him go, 
But are you excited to go to Grammy and Papa's house tonight? What do you want to do? He drive it fast. You want to drive it fast? But I don't drive it fast when I'm when I have you on it. Because we have to be safe. Okay. Can you drive a quad responsibly? Okay. Can you say responsibly? I drive That that works. Wow. You look so small now, but I know you're gonna fit it perfectly very quickly. I did it. You did it? Uh-huh. Good job. What did you do? What? Myself. Huh? Myself. By yourself? You're such a big boy. First American title, uh, revised after the final settlement statement and tax overpayment refund. We overpaid on the taxes. Your deed and policy and title insurance forward separately. If checks are included, please cash deposit as soon as possible. And we have a check enclosed. For how much? For two hundred thirteen dollars <laughs> and fifty-two cents. <gasps> what? <laughs> we just gotta praise the Lord here for a minute. Praise him. Praise him. I can't show you that because it's a legal check, but. We just got a return for $213.52 after we opened a letter from some family slash friends and they felt like it, the Lord put it on their heart to bless us um, financially and they sent us a check and man. God is so good. I'm not ugly crier. <laughs> but... Like, I cannot tell you how much the Lord has provided for us. Like, always. But, it's just really neat to see Him provide. He even did this with our last house where, you know, we need particular materials and materials are very expensive. And He just provides them for us. And He hasn't done anything different with this house. Nope. It's like one thing after another, whether it be a coupon or sale prices or you're Craig's at the hardware buys. store and the guy that works there hollers at you because he's got a discount <laughs> or family and friends blessing you financially or with groceries. It's just amazing. And so and we just with help. Oh, yeah. We've had so I much know help. There's a lot too. of people who would love to come help us but can't because they live out of town or out of state and um, I know my dad's coming over tomorrow and we're going to try to get work done and anyway the just, Lord is good it's so and good. he deserves all the honor and glory for it yeah but and we're really hoping kind people they're good too <laughs> well yeah obviously but it's just neat seeing the Lord work through people like that mm -hmm. and we definitely want our home and our house to be I don't know how you even word it but I want it when it's finished you know I want to be able to turn around and honor the Lord with our house and with our property and not just hoard it to ourselves and yeah. say thanks guys for the help we love our house you know mm -hmm. um, but just praise the Lord it's been awesome. That's incredible. That was crazy. <laughs> Let's go to Goodwill. All right. <laughs> Battery might be dead. Out of color power. Don't forget your hard hat. We're on a date right now. UPS way right here. Ready? <laughs> you got a honk when you're back. Because we are gonna install our fireplace, but this 
big metal needs to be cut out so that we can run a pipe all the way up the chimney. Um, I think it's a job for a torch, not for an angle grinder. But if I was able to maybe uh, borrow it or have you come over and do it for me, that would be awesome. So right now, I got a couple hours or a few hours before um, Daddy Hess comes over and Jared gets off work. And I'm just gonna do some blackberry removal so hopefully the side of the shop doesn't look so dumpy because it's looking pretty rough. But our friend slash cousin is gonna come over um, with a torch and cut the, cut the liner out because it's like a quarter inch thick steel or something. I don't know what it is, but it was ruining all of Jared's uh, angle grinding blades last night. And so we asked him and he said that he would come cut it for us. So hopefully um, all we'll have to do tonight is insert the flex liner and stuff and then put the stove in so that the house will be warm tomorrow as we're taking doors and windows out and putting new doors and windows in. I'm so excited. That's the rest of the night. And then we're gonna go and relax over at Aunt Susie's house. She's out of town and she invited us over um, to just take a real shower and use her hot tub if we wanted to, which we will, and watch Hallmark movies all through the night. I'm so excited. <sighs> but work first and then rest. Cousin Mike is here to save the day. Mike, thank you so much. You're welcome. He's the man, I gotta <laughs> say. So here it is, all cut. I could not imagine Jared having to have done that with the angle grinder. We kind of hit a lull in the road. We were gonna try to get this installed tonight, but it's missing a ledge piece right here. We're gonna have to go to the steel shop tomorrow and see if they have a fitting or a round piece of steel for that. And then we'll go and get more two by fours, some plastic, and hopefully have a productive day tomorrow with the windows and the door. So till then, off to Aunt Susie's to relax for a few hours. A few hours? A lot more a few hours. All yeah. night, baby. Yeah, but then we gotta get up early because it's gonna be early breakfast and, and early work day. And we gone. A lot of daylight. Got a lot of stuff at the yard sale. Yeah. See, got an owl. Got an owl. Stuff for Toby. Filled up the back of the car. Cool. Aired up the tires. <sighs> there you go. Going up there. Kissing. We are getting ready to. A chimney liner for our wood stove down through the chimney and be able to have some nice heat in the house because I don't know if you can see my breath. Even though the sun's out right now, it's still kind of cold. It'll hurt to replace windows and so it'd be nice to have some extra heat. Yeah, especially okay. for my dad because his old bones uh, need the heat. I'm down here. I can't see you though. Uh, I can't see you either. Alright, this one is the first window to go. 
in all its beauty, it is not efficient. Watch your face. We need a personal, like, organizing secretary to help us keep our tools in the right spot so we can find them. Packing up, feeding my starving children. How many meals in a box? 216 meals in each box. And we are making pallets out of them. Look at all the help. <laughs> so I'm a little excited right now. Just got back from the feed the children and we uh, hooked the stove all up, cut some kindling. My dad's vacuuming it up so it's nice and pretty. It is time. There is the new fireplace, so we will see how she works. This is how you really start a fire. Family has came to do some help working on the homestead, and look at what we have here, folks. A fire and our new wood insert. Now, we just have to get a window in there so that the heat will stay in. Looks like it's working like it's supposed to. Okay, now when you do this, you want to try to center it over everything. Center it and like gap it, you know. Same amount of gap. Okay. Well, Katie went to lay down with Toby and she, I think she might have fell asleep with him because he was being grumpy. Andre, he needed a nap. So, started taking this out with Christian and my dad. We got the whole, uh, well, what you guys saw there before, it was like, used to be a big sliding glass door and they had the AC unit and stuff. So that's all gone now. So now I'm going to start framing it up, put in another window and move the door eventually. Um, probably not tonight dark now so uh, just go off the lights inside but gonna get that done and then we're gonna go relax and uh, take a nice evening um, go over to Aunt Susie's again spend the night uh, she's out of town so we're gonna go over spend the night sit in the hot tub take a nice long hot shower because we don't normally get to do that so anyway back to work <gasps> you got him what color should I look Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Look! I got him! Do you want to put him back for me? Catch and release? Good job! Peace! Peace! New window where the sliding glass door was. Now we have two new windows. I'm super, super, super excited, and I love the vinyl panels because um, it'll kind of keep the, you know, <laughs> some, of the, some of the charm that the other window had without it being, you know, letting all the heat out. 
But you have done so good today, babe. Hey, you thanks. and your dad have hustled, 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 and got a ton done. Um, get more done if the stapler would work. I know. That's a stupid annoying little stapler. Oh, got one. Are you pleased with your progress? <laughs> Absolutely. We have... <laughs> One thing we learned this, this this weekend was that the right tool makes a difference. Doesn't it, babe? Yeah, my dad said we need to invest in one of those slapper staples. Oh, that's a good idea. There. Oh, well. Got the fireplace, the toilet's all fixed, and usable. I'm getting a phone call now. Hey, Maybe it's chipping dad? Joanna Geese. Today is an exciting day. Me and Jared have always talked about um, trying to do our best to help a couple teens out in the youth group and um, hire some to work for us uh, here and there and we were able um, this week really uh, to be able to help a couple out and they came to help us work this afternoon and so Jared's gonna put them on a couple jobs while we do a couple other things all right Sunday afternoon Caleb and Jake from their youth group came over Caleb's out there he's gonna weed eat the front our property and Jake it's all set up coveralls he's crawling under the house we're gonna install the the tub drain pipe and uh, then Toby can take a big old bath in the nice tub so ready for this yep need more okay all that help. Big fire. Are you building a big fire? Yeah, you have to be very careful though, remember? Because fire's hot, huh? Is it, is it a hot fire? Is your fire hot? We had a hard time deciding what in the world to do with the window because the front door won't be able to be centered um, because the house wall, the load-bearing wall is like right here. And so the, the door's gonna have to go here. And so we decided that this window in Toby's room will just be the same distance apart from the edge of the wall here. And then we'll just have the offset door and then a space right here or something. And I think I'll just have to balance it out by however I decide to decorate. Maybe things can be balanced out that way with chairs or whatever. But it's looking good. 